Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the carburetor on your leaf blower, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Now rotate the air filter cover mounting screw counterclockwise to release the cover. Pull off the air filter. Use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the screw to release the throttle cable retaining bracket. Disconnect the throttle cable from the carburetor. Next, unthread the bolts securing the filter housing and carburetor. Use pliers to detach the gas tank fuel lines from the primer bulb and the carburetor. Be prepared for some fuel to spill. Pull the filter housing and carburetor away from the engine. Release the retaining clamp and pull the primer bulb fuel line off of the carburetor. Slide the old carburetor off of the mounting bolts. Install the new carburetor by first making sure the air filter gasket is in place. Now slide the new carburetor onto the bolts. Attach the primer bulb fuel line to the new carburetor. Attach the gas tank fuel lines to the primer bulb and carburetor. Replace the intake manifold gasket. Then reposition the carburetor and filter housing on the engine. Thread and tighten the bolts. Reconnect the throttle cable. Replace the retaining bracket and secure it with the screw. Replace the air filter by positioning it around the tabs on the filter housing. Realign the cover and rotate the mounting screw clockwise to secure. Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and your leaf blower should be ready for use.